Catherine, <laughs> top three. Do you did you pick P one, P two, P three, or did you just do a top three? I did pick P one, P two, P three. Okay. Um, obviously, I picked Max to repeat again as champion. Obviously. Um, I mean, just based on what people are saying about the Red Bull car, like, I think I non-Red Bull fans have every reason to be worried. Um, so I've got Max in P1. Um, I actually have Carlos Sainz in P2. I think, that, I think he's going to go off the wall, crazy great, and really just show Ferrari what they're losing. Um, and then I have, I have Checo in P3. Because it's either Checo's in P3 or P2, or he gets switched halfway through the season with Daniel and goes down to V-carb. I love how we're calling it V-carb now. That makes me happy. Yeah. I'm, it's. We want me to call him Cash App, RB. Like, I'm not going to do it. Team sorry, Carbo not load. sorry. That's my, Carbo that's load. my favorite. Carbo load. Um, okay, yeah. so, yes, obviously I have Max in... P1 winning another driver's championship. Mm-hmm. I don't get over it. It's fine. The thing is, like, I love to hate him, right? Because he's obviously not a driver for my team, but he's wildly talented and I respect it. And I'll give credit where credit's due. Checo doesn't get credit, but Max gets credit because Max is a very <laughs> strong driver. Yeah. 2024, everybody, and Emily still doesn't like Checo. Um, Shocking. P2, <laughs> P2, I have Lando. So okay. I think. I know, I know. But I think this is the season we see him get a win. Um, Fingers crossed. I think he did really, really well towards the end of the season last season. And I think he's just going to continue. He's, you know, a really, really strong driver. So I think uh, he'll end up P2. And then P3, I do have Carlos. Um, Again, I think it's going to be a, hey, Ferrari, look what you don't have next season. I'm leaving you for insert team here. Um, actually he's yeah. not leaving them. They've dropped him, but, but yeah. you get the sentiment. You get the sentiment. Uh, so that's who I have for my drivers. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you that like Lando's going to have a standout year. I also think that he's going to win the first race of his career. Um, I want him to win a race. I also want Fernando to win a race. Um, I want more race winners just in general. Um, I can definitely see Lando, you know, going off. Sorry, I'm drinking water. Um, Hydrating is good. Gotta stay hydrated in the summers down here. Um, No, I completely agree. Like, obviously, I would love to see Lando win another race, or win a race and Fernando win another race, like you said. I'd love to see Carlos win a race this season. I'd love to see anybody win a race. I like when there's more race winners and it's not just like Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull. It's it's more exciting when other people win races. So, yeah, even I can agree with that. Okay, so for the Constructors' Championship, what teams do you have finishing in the top three? I think it should come to no surprise that I am predicting another Red Bull Constructors' win. Um, I also think that based on what we've been hearing from McLaren, I think that McLaren are going to leapfrog over both Mercedes and Ferrari. So I have them in P2 and then I have Ferrari in P3 because I just, I don't know how things are going to go with Mercedes this year. Yeah, Mercedes, I feel like there's a lot of question marks, which is also, I have the same, 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 but different. So I have Red Bull P1 again, unfortunately. Um... And then I have Ferrari P2 and McLaren P3. I just, I, I don't know what's going to come out of Mercedes this season. I think Lando is going to be super strong. And Oscar Piastri was great last season as a rookie. Oh, One yeah. Season under his belt. I think he's going to have a great season. And Ferrari, I think Carlos and Charles are really going to challenge each other, which will drive them to get more points. Distraction. Or distraction. Um, Sorry. <laughs> No, it's totally fair. Uh, but yeah, I just, I don't think they have enough to to beat out Red Bull. I think they're going to throw everything at it, but I don't think they will. But at the same time, I do want to caveat this with Ferrari knows they're getting Lewis next season. Could they just throw this season away? I don't know. I mean, I... I... Throw it away completely, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I it's it's definitely, you know, there's there's the chance that they'll want to do with like, you know, Haas's 
2021 season was the lost year that they knew was going to be the lost year because they were focusing on the regulation change and making the 2022 car better. Right. Um, so they just, you know, had, you know, uh, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin languishing at the back of the grid. So Ferrari might take that route. Um, and I don't know necessarily if they should or they should not. I think it really just depends on how much of them taking that route means screwing over their drivers or specifically screwing over their ex, their driver who is leaving after the end of the year. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's a lot to lot to see this season from Ferrari. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. Oh, okay. I like our picks. We'll have to revisit and see how we actually did at the end of the season. Um, oh yeah. 